Hey guys, this is, are you ready for today's March 14, 2019, 11, 13 p.m. Central Time. I'm going to do a quick video on this because you guys are bombarding my email since this happened, which is perfectly fine. If you have a new story you want me to do a video on or just talk to me or let me know what's going on, you can email me at governmentsecrets007 at gmail.com, G-O-V-T, secrets at uh, 007 at gmail.com. Bushmaster sued by Sandy Hook victims, obviously their families. Here's the deal. Open and shut case, period. This was an article that was sent to me is the Mercury News. It says in here, the families argued, among other things, that the rifles manufacturer and distributor negligently allowed and encouraged civilians to use weapons suitable for only military and law enforcement use. So Connecticut's Supreme Court ruled Thursday the manufacturer of Bushma Bushmaster AR-15 rifle can be sued and potentially held liable in connection to the 2012 mass murder of Sandy Hook Elementary School, Newtown, Connecticut. So, of course, the firearms company did exactly what they should have, uh, which was try and convince the lower court prior to it going to Connecticut's Supreme Court that a federal law enacted in 2005, which is actually not listed here, it is known as the PLCAA. I'll go into that in a moment. Limited the liability of firearm manufacturers, dealers essentially preempting uh, wrongful death suits and in state or federal courts. Okay. The Connecticut High Court disagreed. This is important to know, this sentence right here. It also said the suit, which seeks unspecified damages for each death, could go forward under the state's unfair trade practices law. Very important to realize that's how this these families, if you will, are going to be going forward in Connecticut. This will end up at the Supreme Court, and ultimately, Bushmaster will win. Bush signed 2005 law protecting gun makers from being sued. This is crooks and liars. This is actually an anti-gun article that came out in 2012. Um, what it said in here, it says, The Protection of Lawful Commerce in Arms Act, PLCAA. It is also referred to as the Gun Protection Law. Okay, it says right here, the law could not be clearer in stating its purpose. This is literally from the law. Quote, to prohibit cause of action against manufacturers, distributors, dealers, which would be FFLs, and importers of firearms or ammunition products and their trade associations for harm caused solely by a criminal or unlawful misuse of a firearm product or ammunition products by others when the product functioned as designed and intended. What does that mean? Legally, what does that mean? There are only several hiccups in that law. Not, they're not even hiccups. It's as if an FFL gives someone who's a nut job a firearm, knows they're a nut job, uh, and knows they're going to commit a crime, then they are they are held liable. This The PLCAA does not cover that type of shit. This is when a FFL, or in this case, Bushmaster, creates a firearm with the intention of the user using it for lawful purposes uh, and does not give it to someone who is a nut job and knows they're a nut job, okay? So this does a couple things. Right here, it says, by others when the product function as designed and intended. That's important to know because a lot of people have said, oh, well, the PLC, PLCAA protects Bushmaster, we'll use this as an example, uh, from any liability if a gun malfunctions, say you're out shooting, and you are using a Bushmaster of some sort, regardless, not necessarily an AR-15, um, and it, it malfunctions in some way, hurts you, or kills someone else. They do not, you can sue Bushmaster, period. They do not fall under the Protection of Lawful Commerce in Arms Act. That is why it was written that way. So what Adam Lanza did, uh, from what I understood, he didn't even buy the firearm. It was like owned by somebody else and he ripped it off. I don't know the whole story. It got so muddled and ugly and stupid and I just didn't follow it. Beside the point, Adam Lanza, whether people like it or not, took 
a Bushmaster AR-15, which is also questionable because there's a lot of things saying that he used handguns, but blah, blah, blah. let's just say in theory, okay, he used a Bushmaster AR-15. He used it in the correct functional way, so it's not like it misfired at a bunch of people, okay, <laughs> and he and these families could sue Bushmaster because of it. Adam Lanza pulled the trigger. The trigger did uh, pulled back the bolt the bolt went forward hit the fucking round the round went through everything worked functionally fine so it does not fall under the plcaa whatsoever these sandy hook victims families are screwed period end of story even if Congress went back and overturned that law, which the Democrats have been trying to do for a long time. Every Congress that I've been following since 2012 has been trying to overturn that law that was signed under the Bush administration and has failed and has never even hit the floor or even gone into a committee. Okay. Um, which I'm assuming this, this Congress though, so far, I have not seen that type of bill. I'm sure it will come up now. Um, so basically, in my opinion, the uh, Connecticut supreme court ruled it the reason they ruled it the way they did and dismissed the firearms companies can trying to convince the lawyer uh, lower court of the 2005 liability law was because it has to do with the state's unfair trade practices law which there's a slim chance okay that that could somehow affect things in my opinion, there I don't think there's a chance at all. Obviously, the Connecticut High Court, Supreme Court, disagrees with me because it specifically says in that law and their trade associations, it doesn't matter. Sandy Hook victims, Aurora, uh, wh whatever other stupid shootings that have happened recently in the past decade or so, you're screwed. I'm sorry. Just like the family, I think it was the Aurora family try one of them tried to sue lucky gunner i believe if i remember correctly and lucky gunner is a website that sells bulk ammunition um because that's where that dude got the ammunition from they tried to sue lucky gunner of course they fucking lost because of the plcaa because they are considered a distributor and ammunition also falls under the plcaa so good luck, Sandy Hook victims, going to the Supreme Court. It should be interesting to have this go to the Supreme Court, though, because this will cement <laughs> this type of situation for the future and piss off a lot of people. So just saying. Anyway, open and shut case. This is Are You Ready For? Take care, guys. Have a great day.